Right, hello guys, back to back recording, as you can tell, Fred's still here, everyone's still here. Uh, back to back recording, because today we're back with Project Turd Lido. I'm going to flip the camera around and Graham's going to tell us what we're doing. <laughs> so, Project Turd Lido, what are we doing today? Uh, effectively a test drive. So yes, we are taking this 100 pound shed on its first maiden voyage and we're going to see how it runs, drives, handles because obviously it's now been lowered and all that and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do so um, he's going to drive it first because I don't want to <laughs> he's going to show us how it should be driven and then I'm going to jump in the hot seat and probably make a fool of myself so uh, let's get in <laughs> let's get in the hot seat and let's go for it right, as you enter the car you're greeted with race car style interior. So if we get in, we can see we've got nothing really, <laughs> apart from a dashboard. That's the only difference between this and the Golf. We've got a dashboard. Yeah, we've got an air freshener. <laughs> and unlike my Volvo, we've actually got oh. nice cool fans. And air conditioning. Ooh. Talk about that in your race car. There we go. But mate, that's powerful. Good, isn't it? <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's see what this thing's about. Let's get it off the drive. Right, so we've literally just left Graham's now. We're out on the road. Uh, I've completely forgot my suction mount as well, so I don't know how we're going to film me driving, but we'll suss that out. Um, don't know if you can hear, but we have rubbing already. Now, all that is is the exhaust rubbing on what was it? A cross it's, mount? It's a cross, cross beam. Yeah. Potentially where they changed the down pipe, they haven't put the rest of the back of the system in the right place. Yeah. But it's got a blown gasket on the downpipe anyway that needs to be changed, so it's all got to come off at some point. Yep, so uh, obviously this is what test drives are about. Um, we're waiting to pull out onto a fast stretch of road and uh, we'll see how she uh, cracks on there. All right, mission number one is accomplished. The fuel light has just came on because this is running on currently, what, six, seven month old fuel? Yeah, so Probably. So, not the healthiest stuff, possibly starting to varnish already. Um, but yeah, we're just coming down on a uh, on a, a dual carriageway area, so we'll see how this thing performs. Nah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a bit of fuel, but we'll give it give you a little tickle before we fill up. Oh, this car does not handle very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the body lean. Don't worry about that. Even though it's lowered, why fuck does this thing lean? Oh my Christ, this thing. <laughs> Where are we going to get fuel? Shell. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The BP is now a shell, which means that the jet wash that everyone loves going to is now shut. But anyway, we'll top this up with fuel and uh, see what she's like. Yes. All right. Yes. The first fuel stop. We're putting some Shell V power in it. First fuel stop for this car in about seven months. And uh, usually when you turn the ignition off, the uh, the dashboard lights be in a Christmas tree, but seems to be all right. For so now. maybe it might have fixed itself, not too sure. And also as well, this is fucking brilliant. <laughs> this is cool. But yeah. There oh, go. there we go. Oh no. <laughs> That's gonna go on for ages. <laughs> But yeah, first fuel stop, let's get back on the road. All right, we have fuel in the bitch now. So, um, and the really annoying thing about this car now is, if I can fucking find the button down there. I've just dropped it, where's it gone? The ESP button is broken. So we can't turn traction control off. Which, that might make it a bit boring, but let's see. Now this thing gets up to speed. <laughs> How are the brakes? Wooden. Wooden? They were. Fair enough. Fuck it out. Holy crap. You really wouldn't think that this car cost just a hundred quid and needed like next to nothing to be roadworthy. Need your alignment done. Bloody hell. Yeah, the alignment needs to be done a bit, but. 
Fucking hell. <laughs> this is brilliant, this. Oh. Look, it's almost like this car was just ran yesterday. Yeah. Like, it's, there's zero hesitation in this. We've literally driven it from Graham's house straight to the petrol station, which is about a mile, if that. And now it's getting ragged. <laughs> That's how flipping cool this thing is. But uh, yeah, let's see what else we get up to. Like, oh, shit. Right, button works, look. I don't know if you can see that, but the traction control light is now on. Oh no, and he's taking us down death row. No, it's still kicking in. This thing is um, questionable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a child and go through it like flat out. Hey, pretty. <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> so the button keeps seizing itself in. Uh, so we've just put the button back out again. It's so dirty. Oh really? Yeah. Oh bloody hell. Can you not reach in there and press the button manually? Without the little toggle switch? Um. But that is why it keeps turning itself off, because this keeps like cramming itself inwards. I don't think we've got anything in the car to do it. Uh, oh that, we've got a screw over it. Ah. Well, Will that do it? Quite long one. Come on, come no. on. No? No. Oh, what? Just keep it down there, but I can't. Ooh, no. that's too fat. Ooh. What? It's a four inch roll. <laughs> well, hello, six disc CD changer in here. Oh, fancy, fancy. Got a couple of uh, Jubilee glitz, face masks. Got loads of Mackey sugar in here. Yeah, no, there's nothing in here really. Ah! Well, oh, what, have you sorted it? Yeah, Hopefully. Definitely. Let's see what happens. Oh, it, ah! This thing does have traction control as well, though. <laughs> uh, not traction control, uh, launch control. Fuck's sake! This is still a fun car. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, we're fed up with this switch, so we're pulling the fuse out for the traction control. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is stupid. This is utterly stupid. Wait for it. Nothing. What did you just pull out? Oh, that's fine. We don't need them. Uh oh! We have errors! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I don't know if you can see that, but look, ABS, traction control, handbrake flashing. She rips a burn out! Oh my god! Oh, the smell of burning old bearish tyres! <coughs> oh fuck! Oh my Christ! Uh, right, so uh, here I am behind the wheel. <coughs> We're doing mine and Fred's usual test routes for our channels. Um, I do have to say, first impressions, apart from the steering wheel being wafty. <laughs> This big fucking ribs. And uh, it's really nice to drive as well. Like the clutch is like proper heavy. Um, the steering is actually quite weighty as well. It feels proper old school in this thing. And even though this car hasn't been driven in God knows how long, 
the gearbox and all that is still really nice and the throttle is like proper responsive this is definitely um definitely different to drive 110 percent well um we'll swing it back round to uh the fast stretch oh that the way that turbo kicks in is lovely <laughs> Oh, I've got to remember the bump coming this way around this corner somewhere is uh, horrible. Where is that bump? Where is that bump? Hit it before you see it. There it is. Oh! surprised at how well that turbo does spool up like it spools up proper proper fast. It's only a little, little cab for you, isn't it? Oh is it? Yeah. Ah, fair enough. Oh. There you go, two and a half thousand. Absolutely ludicrous, flipping hell. Oh. It is nice to have a car that you can just like dick about with and like not really care about. Come on, there you come. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. And That's questionable. 50, 50 quid per horsepower. Is it? Well, yeah, it was 100 quid. 210 horsepower. About 50 quid horsepower. That's not bad. But yeah, look. Two pumps. Two pumps. Just fucking kicks in and goes. Like, this is why it's a sleeper. Slash, don't really care. Cool, brilliant, tar very much. But yeah, this is why it's a fucking sleeper. Like, it looks like an absolute shed. Um, it drives like an absolute shed, but it can leave cars behind. Right, here we go. We have got. Mr. Gear, still wheel spinning though. Ah, oh, smell them old tyres. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> oh, what a car. What a car. It's been sat for about seven months but with uh, shit fuel in it, not running, not driving. And here it is ripping mad, uh, mad fat fucking burnouts on launch control. <laughs> Fuck me. All right, Fred, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a car. What an absolute weapon. Oh. So how do you think of it? Not bad for 100 quid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, that, was <laughs> that was nasty. Oh. Fred's turn for launch. That's still spinning. There we go. <laughs> He managed to get second gear, I didn't. <laughs> Fuck me. Right, so we're just heading back to Graham's now. Um, I think this first test drive was a great success. <laughs> this car flipping rips for 100 quid and the fact that it's been sat up for nearly a year. Um, this, this is brilliant. Like, this car is so joyous to drive. And uh, yeah, that is why it's a 100 pound sleeper because even though it hasn't got huge power, you know, like 500 horsepower, this thing will still leave cars. And here we go again. Be careful the bump. <laughs> Wherever it is. But yeah, but yeah no, this, um, this car is absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, like I said, I think the first drive was a great success. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to slap a like on it comment down below what you think of this car and more importantly hit that subscribe button i don't think there's much else left to film on like resurrecting this car not too sure it's probably a couple of gaskets and some cool stuff, I think. yeah i don't know if you heard graham but we're going to do a couple of gaskets and sort the exhaust out and that's pretty much it for now um i think we are going to try and maybe recomplete the interior not too sure that's more graham's shout um but yeah, no, this was this is brilliant. And like I said, for £100, I don't think you can get anything better. But yeah, 
like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.